atheism and science, God dismissed. In public arguments about the origins of the world and existence, science and atheism are often linked. Critics say some atheists use science to explain the natural world and deny God. Scientists may be influenced by their atheistic beliefs when seeking knowledge. Religious and theistic beliefs have long influenced scientific progress. Scientists like Isaac Newton and Galileo Galilei believed their work revealed divine laws. As the scientific revolution progressed, some intellectuals used science to challenge theism. Atheist thinkers Richard Dawkins and Stephen Hawking have argued that scientific understanding contradicts theistic views in current disputes. In The God Delusion, Dawkins firmly rejects theism, arguing that evolution and natural selection explain life's variety better than a divine creator. In The Grand Design, Stephen Hawking claims that the cosmos can spontaneously emerge from nothingness due to physics, meaning that a divine person is superfluous. Scientists, like everyone else, have cognitive biases. Confirmation bias is the tendency to actively seek, evaluate, and remember information that supports one's beliefs. There is a serious concern that some atheists may use science to refute theistic claims rather than unbiasedly exploring the evidence to establish its actual direction. In the structure of scientific revolutions, philosopher of science Thomas Kuhn stressed that paradigms, frameworks for scientific concepts, shape how scientists perceive data. Atheistic groups frequently embrace natural explanations. Therefore, supernatural explanations are automatically eliminated by definition. In discussions about God and science, the God of the gaps concept is sometimes used to interpret scientific gaps as signs of God's intervention. Critics say atheists practice naturalism of the gaps, disregarding the supernatural without sufficient evidence because they believe any knowledge gap can be explained by natural means. Scientific research is limited to nature. It may observe, experiment, and construct theories based only on empirical evidence. God or supernatural entity conversations fall into metaphysics, making them unscientific. Science's ability to prove God's existence is overstated. In conclusion, many atheists use scientific language to support their belief that God does not exist, but it is important to distinguish between what science can tell us about the natural world and existential questions. The scientific method is good at understanding the universe, but not metaphysics. Both believers and non-believers must understand science's strengths and weaknesses to find truth. Whether one is atheist or theist, it is intellectually honest to acknowledge that some questions may always be beyond scientific examination.